Hi guys! What day is it today? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Welcome to Wednesday's learning video. First of all, I'm going to do some points from yesterday. My star worker from yesterday is someone who's been working hard literally every day on the Padlet. They've been adding to it, commenting really kind things to each other, um, and I'm really, really happy with this person. So today's star worker is Janet, well done. So bonus point for Janet. I'll put that on in a second and I'll save this certificate for you for when we eventually get back to school. Um, for our points today, Adam's going to be my beautiful assistant and help me out. Hey guys! <laughs> right, so who's been working hard? I saw so many impressive things yesterday. Um, along with some really nice children joining in on my Zoom pad, uh, Zoom um, quiz. Sorry that some of you didn't get to join in. Um, for next time, I'm going to do a weekly schedule of when we'll be Zooming, so you definitely won't miss out. Um, so I was really impressed with Scarlett. Scarlett gets two points, one for two. submitting her work oh. today, but also a bonus point for winning our quiz. Next up is Janet. Janet gets two points, one for winning the certificate. And two for working really hard today, as per usual. Uh, a point for Eamon, getting all his tasks done Eamon. this morning. Eamon. Nice Eamon. one for asking me some questions, Eamon. Eamon. Um, Eamon. For some things you were finding tricky, good job. Kira, well done, lovely to see your work today. I really like your illustrations as well today. And I really liked your poem. Good work. Yeah. Sorry that some of you will find it a bit tricky to get on Michael Rosen's website today. I put a link on the Padlet to his YouTube channel. Um, so if you didn't manage to do that today, you could have a look tomorrow. Uh, next up is Joseph. Well done, yes. Joseph. Joseph made some delicious looking waffles today as part of his home learning. Really they look really nice, Joseph. Please, 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 can you make some for me when we get back to school? Uh, and me. And you? Yeah. I'll make some. Adam, one point for Adam, working really hard yes, this Adam. morning. Good job, Adam, you're on eight points now. Felix, excellent work as per usual. Really liked your poem from um, yesterday. Felix. Felix is going to be our quiz master when we do our next Zoom quiz on <coughs> Friday at 2 p.m. Felix is going to be writing 15 questions for us. Do you want to join in? I'll do it, yep. Why not? Don't make it too hard, Felix, because we don't know that much about kids' stuff. We're so make brother. it about stuff that we might know about. Adam's got a geography degree, so ask lots of geography questions. Loads of flags and maps. Next up is Hashem. 1.4 Hashem. Hashem. Nice to see you today, Hashem. Good job. Noble, one point. I've not seen you for a couple of days. Um, you've been working really hard today. Really liked your poem. It was really long. It reminded me of The Highwayman. <clears throat> Good job. Uh, it would be nice if you, maybe if you rewrote it, if you had some time, if you started a new line for each clause, it would have a nicer kind of poetic structure. That might be something for you to think about. Amir, one point for today. Nice to see you, Amir. First point. Yes, Amir. Good job, Amir. Amir, I went through most of your work. You need to go back through and see what comments I've said because you need to do quite a few corrections. It looks like loads, but it's because today you just submitted all your work. So make sure you're on the Padlet each day uploading what you do each day so it's not so much for you to go back and correct. Well done, Aya. As per usual, excellent work. Really well presented. Getting it all done in good time. Well done, Aya. Armand, one point for Armand, not seeing you for a couple of days. Thanks Good to so see long. from you. I liked how you would spend your £100,000. Interesting ideas. Uh, Sajud, so one point. Sajud, so you've been working really hard at home. I'm really impressed with you, and you've been doing lots of extra jobs as well. Good oh, girl. I, I went the, way, the other way. Oh no, what is that? I went the other way. Oh. Because I'm right-handed, you're left-handed. Sorry, Sajid. Oh, is that how normal people do it? Yeah, one, two, three. Two. That's how I do it. I don't know if it varies right and left-handers. Guys, if you're left-handed or right-handed, can you tell me which way you would do a tally gate? <laughs> do it for me tomorrow, because I do it like this. And Adam's just said that he would do it that way. I do it the other way. Because he's right-handed. I've just done it on Sajid's. Can you, can you show me tomorrow? Uh, who am I up to? Sophia, good to hear from you today. Sorry you couldn't get on the Michael Rosen website. Um, Sophia. Try again tomorrow. Lena, as per usual, Miss Scooterman has been really impressed with your work. Mm. She spoke to me today. We had a Zoom meeting with all the teachers and Miss Scooterman said she was really, really impressed with how much work you, you specifically are doing. So well done. Keep up the good work. And Bishara, 
not heard from Bashara for a few days either. Really important, guys, that you're doing your tasks every day. We've got the Easter holidays, and you won't have... You, I don't think I'm really going to give you many tasks to do over the Easter holidays. I might put a few bits and bobs on the website every couple of days, but because it's a school holidays, you're going to have two weeks off. So really important you are doing all your work. And if you've missed any days, you can catch up with them in the Easter holidays. But well done, everyone that joined in today. Thanks, Adam. You're done now. See you guys. Uh, so your work for today. Um, I would like you to think for English about your Dragon's Den recipe that you made. Most of you were in school when we did um, our cooking and we were going to write some recipe cards. Oh no, that doesn't look good with my hair. We were going to write some recipe cards to share around school. Miss Schoonerman is still writing the newsletter every week so I wondered if you could write, you can either handwrite it but to a published standard so it's good to go in the newsletter or you could type it up in a Word document or in a publisher document um, and illustrate it. I'd like you to do a recipe card for your um, healthy snack that you made for Dragon's Den. You need to include all the features of instructions um, slash a recipe. So it needs to have those numbers, uh, numbered instructions with imperative verbs at the start. We need ingredients in there. You might want to do some diagrams with each step as well. <coughs> Excuse me, really important. Uh, for maths today, we've got a spot the shape sheet, so looking at loads of tiny shapes you can see in some different patterns. Shouldn't take you too long. Um, for some topic today, I would like you to research an artist. I'm going to put a PowerPoint um, underneath this video with um, lots of different artists on there, and you might want to choose an artist from our PowerPoint, or you could choose an artist that you know already, or you could do a bit of research. I don't know if you've been using Twinkle. I put the link to Twinkle on the page a few times. If you type artist into Twinkle, there's literally a zillion um, bits of information about artists. Um, so you might want to choose from one from there, or you might have like a really famous painting at home, or an artist that you're interested in. I would like you to find out about an artist, and I would like you to have a look at some of their artwork, and I would like you to try and produce your own um, version of that piece of art. So it might be a copy, you might try and copy it straight, or you might do your own piece of art inspired by that um, image. A bit like when we did our Starry Night paintings, we didn't do an exact copy of Starry Night, we did our own version, so you might want to try doing that. Um, my top tips, something that I really like doing is quite easy to do at home with felt tip pens if you don't have paints, is to look at pointillism, uh, and pointillism uses lots of um, dots to create a picture. Um, so if you're stuck for ideas, if you google pointillism, P-O-I-N-T-I-L-I-S-M, I think, pointillism um, would be a good place to start if you're really stuck for ideas. And then just as a bonus task today, I'm not going to do an additional task video today, I'm just going to do this one, um, but I thought maybe today or tomorrow you could have a go at writing a letter to a key worker or making a, a big sign, maybe not necessarily a letter. As I've been going for my runs in the morning, uh, I've seen lots and lots of signs in people's doorways, on their bins, on their cars, on their front gates, saying things like thank you to their postman, thank you to the bin men for collecting their rubbish despite all this that's going on, thank you to all the delivery people. So think about not just doctors and nurses who are being really helpful and kind and incredible at this time, but there's so, so many other people who are going to work and making sure that we can all get our food and we can all get online and we all get, you know, electricity, we all get our post. So I want you to think about what other people are doing. And you might know some people who do, who do jobs like this. You might know some people who are classed as key workers. I want you to make a sign or a letter saying thank you to them. Um, just a bit of appreciation. And once you've taken a photo, I'd like you to put it up in your window um, so that passers-by can see. And if that person comes by your house, it will brighten up their day because I know they're working really hard at the minute. Um, and your drawing task today, if you um, want to do some more drawing, I'd like you to draw an eight-legged monster. That would be nice for me to see. Just before I go, I wanted to tell you about an app that I've been using. Just let me grab my phone. Um, it's an app called Duolingo. 
And myself and lots of the teachers have been using it, although I think it's a children's app. The app looks like this. Uh, if you can see, it's green and it's called Duolingo. And it's an app where you can learn another language. So I used to do French at school, but I, I've not been practicing very much. So I've gone on and said that I'd like to learn French. And you click through all the different levels and it's a bit like a game and you have to say things, you have to read things and practice. Um, I don't know if any of you wanted to sign up to that. There's literally tens of languages for you to choose from. I chose French, they've got Spanish, they've got Italian, they've got loads of European languages, but other languages as well, like Chinese or Japanese or loads and loads and loads of different ones. There are even languages on there that aren't actually real languages. I think you can learn Klingon on there, which I think is a language from Star Trek. So if any of you are really, really, really super bored, I highly recommend Duolingo. Johanna's busy setting up espresso for everybody as well. Um, so I will try to put on our espresso logins. Um, we've just got one class one for everyone to use. Um, so I'll try to pop that on as well if you want to have a look at espresso. Um, but I'll give you some more information about that tomorrow. Uh, and I think that's it for today. I hope you have a lovely day. Um, and I look forward to chatting to you all in the Padlet. I've got to pop to school this morning. I've got to go and pick up some um, more things for us at home. I'm going to bring home a big whiteboard. Uh, I think the one from Yehona's desk so I can do some some like maths help with you um, and a bit more um, teaching. Um, so sorry if I'm not on the Padlet too much first thing in the morning, but it's because I'm probably driving to school. Um, but I'll see you all later. I hope you all have a good day. Keep washing your hands. Hope you're staying home and not going too crazy. Miss you all. Watch uh, the Wonder video uh, and I'll see you later.